face with face. Face to face with face. On Friday. Hey, everybody. Hey, face to face. We're back. Season two. Season premiere. Of Face to Face with Face on Friday. With <laughs> Forrest is out visiting family. And so we're actually in uh, one of Cody's studios for a whole body singing, person without him. Things are going way smoother. We're thinking about replacing him with a ukulele. Um, we're just trying yeah. it. We're not, we're not certain. It's just a process. Everyone meet New Forest. What did you guys think of our new theme song? It, it was uh, well, awesome. Mm. It's a good start. Yeah. So what I'm doing, I'm going to try, this is me making up a few different theme songs. I think we'll do like three, maybe four. And then uh, in about a month, we'll have a little Twitter contest to see which one you guys like the best. And that will be the official theme song for Face to Face with Face on Friday. So these first three or four might be a little amateur hour. And then, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> so, so this first theme song, he hasn't actually, we haven't heard it. He hasn't recorded it yet. It's so good. <laughs> Worst of the bunch, for sure. Cody, what's in your hand? It's the Swedish flag. Yay! Yay! We're going to back to Europe soon. We're going back to Sweden, and then we're going to Luxembourg, and then back to Sweden. And then home. And then home. Actually, over the past month or so, as, uh, as our new Swedish friends have been hearing about our return, we've actually started getting some questions from our Swedish friends. So we thought this would make this the Swedish... The Swedish edition. The Swedition. Swedition. <laughs> so, <laughs> damn it, you guys. On that topic, the first question uh, from one of our Swedish friends. It was Peter who sent this one. What do you look forward to coming back to Sweden? We went up north to Luleå and Piteå, uh, and those communities are very. I don't know, they just feel very kind of small town, even though they're not like super small. They felt a little bit like Louisville, Colorado, where I grew up, and I really enjoyed the um, the warm summer months. Now we're going back in the cold, and you know, we're going to uh, possibly maybe see some northern lights this time. So, Ooh, yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, to the venues again. When uh, when we were in Sweden last time, uh, these, these smaller-ish communities had beautiful, beautiful uh, venues with just perfectly engineered acoustics. Uh, Studio Acousticum is where we were last time. It was a spectacular venue. And uh, yeah, looking forward to playing in those again. Didn't, was Studio Acousticum the one where the, the roof raised and lowered? Inside the hall, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For totally. acoustic reasons, the ceiling. Mm -hmm. The ceiling would like go up. It was you already could, massive. You and could it was like, like tune the room. Yeah. Yeah, it was incredible. I remember the uh, the audiences in Sweden, both Luleo and PTO, were, mm. were so warm and so welcoming. I'm very very excited to see all of you in Sweden mm. again. It's gonna be exciting. Swedish. This question comes from Olivia. You have a Swedish song on your CD as our connections CD that was uh, the live Europe tour album. Do you have any clue what you're actually singing in Swedish? <laughs> <laughs> I sing the Why song. Why is that important? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. No, not really. It's uh, the song is called Pite Alva. It's written for the town Piteo, and even though it's a letter A, that little d circle makes it Piteo. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's like a Piteo pride song. And here's the thing: like I listened to a recording of it, I was able to slow it down and listen to the guy singing the words, and I just wrote it down. I just butchered it phonetically, and then I showed it. I sang it for our Swedish contact for Helena when we got there. I said, "Am I anywhere close?" And she she just started laughing. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's okay. It's adorable. <laughs> Don't change it. <laughs> yeah. The finns et folk av en särskilt sort. Nej, vi pite är det va. The finns et folk av en särskilt sort. Nej, vi pite är det in fairness, we have no idea what the hell safety dance is about, but we've been doing it for 15 years. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. This is yeah. fair. That's, that, that's fair. We're actually going to do a little game show right now. Give me this. What? I need this. Oh. Welcome to a game called Sant eller Falskt, which means true or false in Sweden. Here's the theme song. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. No, it's not you! No, Swedish. I'm going to ask a very common knowledge question about Swedish culture. Oh, no. And you guys have to decide if that statement is true or false. And the winner of the contest gets 
the secret prize that is in this baggie. Ooh, Yay. I bet it's it's so so here we go. <laughs> Question number one. I'm ready, I'm ready. Sant eller falskt. True or false. ABBA is the fourth best-selling music act in history. True. Okay, this is false. This is false. It is in fact true. See? After Elvis, the Beatles, and Michael Jackson. From what's I'm your source? It's it's Sant, true. the internet. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Question two. It's Sans Elerfals. Please focus. The Nobel Prize was named after a Swedish chemist, engineer, innovator, and armament manufacturer, Alfred Nobel. He was most famous for inventing C4, the explosive. True or false? Sans Elerfals. It is, in fact, false. He invented dynamite. Yes. <laughs> What's C4? Something else? <laughs> I you don't even it. know. Next question. One of the most popular flavors of ice cream in Sweden is salmiaki, which tastes like salted licorice. That one is true. Ah. Super gross. Super gross. Sweden played a large role in helping the Allies win World War II. Sant Ellerfaust. Does this like agree, strongly agree, strongly disagree? It is Sant Ellerfaust. Sure. False. Sweden yes. has not participated yes. in any war for nearly Nailed two it. centuries. That's right. The most <laughs> deadly wild animal in Sweden is the wasp. That sounds stupid, so I'm going to say true. False. It is true! Ah, yes! <laughs> One person per year. People don't die of wild animal attacks very uh, often. Excuse me, the correct answer is man. <laughs> in Sweden, corporal punishment of children is still legal. Like spanking? Like spanking. Okay. Yeah, it is still legal. It's oh, one can hope. I feel like they're very progressive. I'm gonna say false. It is false! Uh, they were the first country <laughs> to abolish corporal punishment in 1979. That was Cody Mark. Driver is way behind. Sweden is bordered to the north by Norway. I'm gonna go with false. It is true! Damn it. So Norway just kind of curves above How many, how many it. questions are left? <laughs> I've uh, got them all correct. You guys are screwed. One oh, last one. one. Minecraft, Angry Birds, and Candy Crush were all developed by Swedish game developers. It's too many successes for one country. This is a mean one. Cody is correct because Angry Birds was from a Finnish company. Yes! Ah! But Candy Crush. <laughs> what did you say on the last one? I was right on all. <laughs> and final tally, we think, is Driver with two. Hooray! Oh, that's true. <laughs> Cody with five. Yay! And Mark wins the prize with six oh, points. What did he win? It's a blue bag. Open it up. Oh, thank you so much. He won. <gasps> a ball. Is that a ball? It's a meatball, isn't it? A it's Swedish a meatball! <laughs> Yay! Oh, oh. Ikea. Take a bite of it. Take a bite of it. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> that is true. Thank you so much for watching this Swedish and a face to face with face on Friday, <laughs> season two, episode <laughs> one. Uh, we are going to be back in Sweden. If you happen to be a Swede or know a Swede, we're going to be back on these dates. Cut to Mark. Our concerts in Sweden will be uh, on, on November 11 in Uddevalla. On Sunday, the 13th, in Folkerna. 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 And then we will be in Luxembourg on the 16th of November. On the 18th, in Luleå. In, on the 19th, in Piteå. Piteå. And on the 20th, in Stockholm. Yay! All in November. Yeah. We're so excited. Check out all our social media. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like us on the Facebook. Uh, sign up for our Twitter, at Face Vocal Band. We're going to have this contest for the opening theme music uh, in a couple weeks here. We'll see you around. Woo! Swedish Don't you know? We're back in Luleå and Piteå. Stockholm for Shanna and Udabala. We can't wait until we see each other.